Moving in away from the southeast, we're going to head further off to the west, but into the south. The threat for severe storms returns tomorrow, and that's going to bring the risk for damaging winds, hail, and even an isolated tornado. Not going to rule that out right along the I-35 corridor across Texas. And we are talking about major cities like the ones we have on the screen, Dallas, Austin, in through Houston, where maybe you have back-to-back -back days, Tuesday as well as Wednesday, where we could see some strong, if not severe, thunderstorms. So a couple of days that you want to make sure you're red flagging in terms of when to be alert. You'll notice as we look at Tuesday, let's kick it off here because we're looking at that possible likely chance of seeing severe storms from Wichita Falls all the way down in through the Gulf Coast here. You notice Houston is in this, as we mentioned, but right along the I-35 corridor, Austin up towards Dallas within that likely threat. You're also looking across I-20 into Abilene there. So many areas across Texas and some very populated areas that could be under the threat of some very strong thunderstorms. Now with these, one of the big threats we're looking at is going to be for hail. It's that time of year, especially in Texas, where hail is a concern. You still have quite a bit of cold air aloft that's coming down from the north. And that, as well as some of these pretty strong updrafts, can create some large hail balls. And that's what you're seeing here, the potential for two inches in diameter or larger from San Antonio up into Fort Worth, Abilene over towards Bryan and Belleville into Austin there. So that could trigger some travel problems, whether you're trying to get to the airport on the road or you're trying to actually be up in the sky. So... You can see that powder pattern that's going to be locking in. So Tuesday, you have those below average temperatures off to the north, widespread rain and cooler temperatures in the south. And that continues to just kind of sag over the same areas across the Gulf Coast, even as we head in towards Wednesday, whereas out west, they're finally getting some above average warmth. It's been challenging spring for them. But look at some of the totals that we're looking at here. Two to three inches that you're looking at in places that desperately need some rain from Kansas into Oklahoma, even some areas that could see an isolated three to five inches there. You carry it into the southeast in a widespread one to two inches. So quite a bit of moisture that's going to be associated with this. And you do see that threat for flash flooding that takes us in through not just Tuesday, but into Wednesday and Thursday. Now, we do have that for Tuesday, the immediate threat coming in tomorrow, including much of Oklahoma, but also portions of Texas that include Dallas down to Houston and over and in towards Kansas and Colorado as well. Fox model shows you some of the timing. You could see Tuesday afternoon, some thunderstorms. You get some storms to develop along with a warm front there. Eventually, we'll see a cold front go through, but you can see right here, this is 10 o'clock Tuesday night, that threat that stretches from Dallas over towards OKC. And so this is when we'll be watching for that threat as we head into the late hours. Everything reignites into Wednesday as well. And Wednesday, that likely threat falling yet again over Dallas, in through Waco, Sa San Antonio and Austin also included with a slightly lower threat level. And we're also now including larger areas in through Louisiana, as well as southwest Arkansas, and still Oklahoma included in that threat for severe weather. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.